Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the installation procedure for our Logic Pro Profiles for the Stream Deck Plus device. Now this pack will allow you to use your Stream Deck Plus device to control many things in Logic, of course including the faders and the pan, You'll be able to scrub your timeline, do zooming, but you'll also be able to adjust all your VST controls with the dials on your device. And once you're finished with the installation procedure, I invite you to check out our navigation video where I go into detail showing you how to perform those functions. But for now, when you download the pack and unzip it, this is what you're going to see. So the first thing we're going to do, there are several key commands in our profile that we've recorded to our own key file set. So you're going to need to install that key file set into Logic. So in Logic, we'll go to Logic Pro here, we'll go to Key Commands, we'll go into Edit Assignments, we'll click on the downward arrow here, and we'll select Import Key Commands. We'll navigate to the, to the folder you downloaded from Sideshow FX, go into the Key Command Preset folder, and you're going to select our Sideshow FX Stream Deck Plus Key Preset. So you double click this or click it once and say Open, I already have it installed and it should automatically load it as the preferred key set. Just to check, go into Logic Pro, go into Key Commands, Presets, and make sure that it has the check mark beside it here. And this is the one that you'll be using. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Audio MIDI setup. You might not see the Audio MIDI setup windows right away, so we can go to Windows and we're going to say Show MIDI Studio. And we're going to click on this IAC driver here, double click on it. Now you may not have any ports already assigned here. We're going to add a couple in here. So the first thing to do, make sure that we have is make sure there is nothing in the device name. This must be left blank. We're going to check mark the box, devices online. And here we're going to double click into here so that we can change this no available ports into one that we need. So the first one we're going to enter is Mackie to DAW, capital M-A-C-K-I-E to capital D-A-W, Mackie to DAW, typed exactly like that. And then we're going to click the plus to enter that one. And then we'll add a second, double click, and we will type in capital D-A-W to capital M-A-C-K-I-E, DAW to Mackie. These are the two ports that we will use. Click away, so make sure that we have them both in there, and double checking, this is blank, this is checked, we say apply. Now we can close down Audio MIDI Studio. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Stream Deck store and we're going to go into plugins and we're going to search for the MIDI plugin and this is the one that you want to make sure you install it's just uh, called MIDI by Trivaligus Bell and I have it installed if you don't have it installed you'll see install blue button here and you just click that and it will automatically install so make sure you've got that installed now our pack comes with its own plugin and we've got it located in our plugin folder here and so to install this, because it doesn't appear in the store, all you need to do here is double click this file and it will auto load into your Stream Deck device. Now another thing we need to do, we have some graphics that our plugin uses that uh, we have to put in a certain location. So I'll open up my documents folder here. And this whole folder, Travelega Spell, should, you should drag and drop it into your documents folder. Now I already have it, you can see it located right here. So you just take this entire folder, drop it into your documents folder. Now if you already have Trevor League Spell folder there from one of our other packs, then we're just going to open this up and we'll just drag in the Logic Pro and we'll drag it into the Trevor League Spell folder. All right, and I already have it there so I'm not going to, going to duplicate that. So now with those ports set up, we're going to go back into Logic. We'll go to Logic Pro, we're going to go to Control Surfaces, Setup, and we're going to go to New, Install. We're going to install a Mackie control, so we're going to type in Mackie here to filter the list, and it'll be a Mackie control here. We'll click on this, 
We'll click Add and close the window. And we're going to take this and drag it up into the top here. We want it to be the first in line. If you have other, you want to try and make sure this Mackie control is first. Now we're going to assign the output and input ports. The output port is DAW to Mackie. And the input port is Mackie to DAW. And then we can close up our controller surface setup. We'll go back to the Logic Pro. Go into Control Surfaces and we're going to Controller Assignments. We'll select the Mackie control surface we just loaded in and we're going to assign a few of these F keys. So for F1 we're going to go to Main Window Tracks under the Command and we will select New Audio Track. Same thing with F2, we'll go to Main Window and we'll select New Software Instrument Track. Then we'll select F7, make sure we're in global commands, and we'll locate select previous track. And we'll go near the bottom, and F8 will be select the next track. Now you have those four assigned. We can close this off. Now we're going to go into the process of installing the profiles themselves. Now if you go into your profiles folder, you'll see that we've got 16 profiles that are here and they all become interlinked to each other. So to install them, the quickest way to do it is just one by one, go through and double click each one of these and you'll go through the whole list and they will, as long as you've got your Stream Deck software set to your Stream Deck Plus device up and running when you double click these, they will install. Now I've got them already installed here so I'm just going to swing over to it. And once all 16 are installed we're going to start on the main profile and this is page 2 of the main profile. Page 1 has some MIDI controls for us but we're going to start on page 2 here. Now these keys are all switch profile keys meaning that when you click them they are going to load up that corresponding profile. Now the Stream Deck software does not retain the pointers that we assign when we built these so you have to just quickly go through the process of repointing these switch profiles to the correct profile on your system and I'll show you how you do that. So by clicking on Logic Pro for example when we press this on our device we want to be able to load the Logic Pro profile and you would click on this drop down box locate it in your profile list Mine is down here. You click on that and so when I go to my device and click on Logic Pro, it will launch that Logic Pro profile. So going over to the device, click Logic Pro and you can see that now loads our Logic Pro profile into our device. Now you can see we've got a home key here. We also have to set it as well. So when I click on it on the software here, we want to make sure it points back to where we just were, which was the main profile. You can see I've got it selected here. You would just click open this and navigate to your main profile so that when I go to my device and I click on that home button, it takes me back to where I was. So this will take me to Logic Pro. This will take me back to main. And we're going to repeat this process for all of these switch profile keys. Now for file, you would point it to the Logic Pro Stream Deck Plus file profile and once that's done it loads the file profile and of course you would also then reassign this home button back to main so that takes you back to where you were and you continue this process for each one of these edit is edit track navigate record view and window and of course going into each one of these and making sure you point their home keys back to our main. Now we're going to go to page 3 of our main and we'll continue the process here with these switch profiles with one little change. Take Mixer for example, this is going to go to the Mixer profile and our main key will go back to main however it's going to go back to page 3 now you shouldn't need to change this but just in case something gets lost you want this to go back to page 3 
So it takes us exactly back to where we were. Step sequencer, live loops, score editor, tools, MIDI control is MCU, and custom control. The controller bar here is just a folder. It is not a switch problem. It is not a switch profile. So once you complete all those, everything will be pointed exactly where they need to go. And with that, the installation setup is done. So you're installed and you're all ready to go. I invite you to take a look at our navigation video where I'm gonna go over in detail all the different functions that this profile gives you. So please make sure to check that out. Thanks for purchasing the pack. Hope it helps you out in your sessions. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.